Hi, welcome to the Moen 4600 cartridge replacement video for <clears throat> bathroom faucet, the new style. You know it's a Moen 4600 because it says Moen right here and 4600 right there. First step would be to remove these two Phillips screws. Well, the first step would be to remove the faucet. Um, and turn off the water before you do so. If not, please call me. I want to videotape it. All right. So we need to remove these two screws and they'll remove this brass cover, which will allow us to remove the bottom of the faucet. For your tools for this, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a standard screwdriver, a pair of vice grips, a jeweler screwdriver and a hex 330 seconds wrench. Okay, so that enabled us to remove that piece, the two screws, and that enables us to lift off the bottom. Okay, next <clears throat> we'll want to rotate the handle so we can see the Moem logo. And you'll take your jeweler screwdriver very carefully and pry under the logo and lift it. It's actually a cap. And it exposes a 330 seconds hex wrench. If you get a hex wrench or an Allen screw wrench, Allen wrench, 330 seconds and put it in there, you can unscrew this. You need to do this to remove the handle. It's a long screw and it needs to be fully extracted and removed. It always helps to drop the wrench a few times. Okay. Your hex wrench, hex screw, <clears throat> and then you can remove the handle. Under the handle is the handle attachment, which is the articulated device that sits on top of the valve and use, is used for valve operation. We remove this articulated piece by removing the, the Phillips screw on top. So it can be kind of, it can be in there kind of tough. So you want to use pressure. Do not strip the screw. Always a problem with Phillips screws potentially. <clears throat> okay, remove the screw, set it aside. And then you can pull this articulated piece off. Set it over here. And that exposes this collar and flange. Grab the gray collar firmly and twist to the left until it stops. And then keep twisting slowly and it'll actually unscrew and remove the chrome collar as well. And under the, in between the two is that spring washer. Do not lose that. Keep them assembled together. So they go in the, together in the right order. Also sort of hidden at this point is a small stainless steel washer on the shaft. If you tip it and shake it, you'll take it out. You won't lose it and you can put it with your parts. Next, we're going to want to remove this plastic collar. <clears throat> it's held in place by a special horseshoe shaped pin. And if you take your jeweler screwdriver and take the corner through this little um, cutout and pry and pull, you'll see that you can start to extract it. Okay, see if we push it back in, take the corner, you pry it out, you get it out. Put the screwdriver under it and then you can remove it back it out it looks like that now you can remove this plastic collar and set it with your parts and now we can remove the entire valve body from the faucet structure the facade the part we're interested in is called a cartridge but it's actually the valve itself and is located here and it's all one piece. We replace it one piece. The trick with it is actually removing it. If you look in here, you can see that there's some plastic collars on this side and this side. That's what this U-clip goes around. And on this side, there's not. <clears throat> this can come out very hard. It can stick, especially after it's been in there a while. 
Moen has a tool they recommend you use. What I did is I use a pair of vice grips set to the shaft size, just about, and grip it very close to the valve body. So there's a small gap between the valve body and the vice grip. The plastic is aligned with the slots where the U goes, where the U clip goes. If you take a flat screwdriver and you put it between these and you twist, so you don't twist against the plastic, you could start the cartridge removal. Then you should be able to pull it out. And that is the piece that we need to replace. You can remove your vice grips from the shaft. There's a part number on it. You can go down to your local home goods store for about 20 bucks, get this part number, and then we can put it back together. Or I'll show you another video on how to put it back together.